Islamic Clarity, they made a video on the Uyghur Muslim genocide. Uh, however, their purpose wasn't to actually cover the Uyghur Muslim genocide. Um, like Christians like Mauro Rubio in America, their purpose wasn't to actually bring attention to the matter, but was actually to try to make Muslim YouTubers look bad. But there's only one problem, so let's watch. Majid Nawaz, a Muslim activist, declared a hunger strike until a petition against the Uyghur Muslim genocide got 100,000 signatures. Since then, hundreds have tweeted their support, including Richard Dawkins and J.K. Rowling. Drone footage... So he's basically talking about how Majid Nawaz, Mitt Romney, Richard Dawkins have all spoken about the Uyghur genocide. ...of Chinese soldiers detaining blindfolded Uyghurs got millions of views. The BBC and Washington Post ran articles condemning the genocide. However, Muslim leaders have been mostly silent. Ali Dawa called it a BS... Okay, one problem here. So, just take a quick note on how he starts off the video. And I think this guy is honestly learning a lot from David Wood and David Wood's impeccable research skills. I'm putting those the word impeccable in quotes. Basically, he's saying, okay, look, imagine the was Mitt Romney, the BBC, they've all covered the Uyghur crisis. How come the Muslim Uyghur, the Muslim YouTubers have not covered the, the Uyghur crisis or the oppression in East Turkestan? So I want you guys to Google or just go to YouTube and do a simple search. Adnan Rashid, right? Farid Response, Yasser Qadi, Muhammad Hijab, and Ali Dawa, okay? And then, then he critiques Ali Dawa. He says, we don't buy the BS hunger strike. So he's kind of projecting or saying, hey, look, really what he's trying to do is say, Ali Dawa's against his own Uyghur Muslim brothers. That's not what Ali Dawa is saying. Ali Dawa is calling out Majid Nawaz specifically here, and he's saying it specifically, but... Islamic clarity, quote unquote, is trying to reinterpret Ali Dawa's comments. I hope you guys can see this because, look, my point is here is just to bring up the intention of the, 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 the point about integrity, right? My intention here is just to talk about integrity and honesty. I'm a, as a Muslim, if I quote you guys Quran or Sunnah or even the Bible, I have to do it honestly with integrity, with transparency. I can't make up stuff. I can't reinterpret stuff. I can't, you know, and, and if I do, you guys need to call me out. And likewise, if I'm also talking about our, our book and our tradition, whether you like it, whether you'll accept it, I cannot manipulate things. And so I don't understand why Islamic clarity is, is basically making up stuff. It's, it's really sad because I just watched a video the other day by Sabur Ahmed, who is from Ayara. Right, and if you guys don't know Ayara, it is the organization that Adnan Rashid and him belong to. Uh, Yasser Qadi also just did a podcast on the Uyghur situation and has spoken about her on his Facebook. Again, it's not whether I'm a fan of of, of these du'at. Like again, they're all my Muslim brothers, but again, it's just about honesty. Whether Islamic clarity likes these guys or not, he's basically saying they've never spoken out against the Uyghur crisis. But that's totally false. It's totally false. They've tweeted about it. They've spoken about it on YouTube. They've spoken about it on Facebook. They, they, I, some of them have actually donated money and raised charity for them. So I don't understand where this is coming from. How does a man just blatantly lie? Let's continue with the video. Called Nawaz an attention-seeking, narcissistic charlatan. Interestingly, many Muslim leaders recently tweeted about the 25-year anniversary of the horrific Bosnian genocide against Muslims. Meanwhile, on uh, Sunday... Uh, yeah, because that was a genocide. And it's typically done every year to just to raise awareness or to raise charity for it. Again, he does this again. And let me just go back to Dili Hussein, because this is a really important point. For those of you guys who don't know who Dili Hussein is, he's, uh, I believe, one of the chief editors of Five Pillars. Dili Hussein has been a big activist in the Uyghur cause. He's spoken to Uyghur, spoken to Uyghur families, raised charity. He's really put himself out, out there at a risk to speak on this issue. <laughs> and this guy's basically trying to say that Majid Nawaz, because he 
or sorry, because Dili Hussein called out Majin Nawaz that he doesn't care about the Uyghurs. This is really what he's trying to project in this one minute video. I've noticed this with a lot of Islamic Clarities videos, to be honest with you, but I'm specifically calling out this one because this one is brutally, brutally callous. Of the horrific Bosnian genocide against Muslims. Meanwhile, on Sunday, July 19th, 2020, the petition against Uyghur Muslim genocide hit over 100 thousand signatures i don't know what what they have to do with each other that's really really confusing again it's terrible on islamic clarity's channel here i hope that he actually does some homework next time and actually you know, i really like to see who this guy is this is this is really terrible research honestly this is terrible research on his part and i hope you guys call out islamic clarity and ask him to actually making islam clear this is that, that video had nothing to do with Islam. And it was about politics. And not only that, it was false. So Islamic Clarity, if you are there, please respond to this video. I'd like you to clarify your comments. Thank you.